Welcome back guys. Let's go ahead and continue building our house. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take all of our brick layers and we're going to put them into a folder. That way we can stay organized. And we want to do that with all of our bricks except for our chimney. So we'll come down to our bottom layer which is that guy. And we'll hit the folder button and that will put everything into a folder group. We can delete this guy. Let's call this house body. And then let's take the chimney pieces and we'll put them into their own folder. All right, cool. Now let's hop back over to our images and I have this texture that looks like a rooftop. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the image and paste it. And now what we wanna do is we wanna shrink that down so that it's about the height of our roof, like that. Then we're going to copy it and paste it and align it right next to the other one. Then we'll merge those layers. And then I'm going to cut off about half of it, like that. Now let's use the transform tool, which is control T or command T and we'll go to distort and we're just going to line this up with our roof so right now the way it's looking is it's the roof isn't overhanging over our brick walls, and that's what we want. So we're going to drag these bottom lines down just a little bit, like that. And we're also going to drag these lines out towards this direction, because we want it to overhang in front also. And we'll do the same for the back. All right, cool. Let's grab our chimney layer and we're going to drag him up on top of our house, our roof layer. Then we're going to create a new layer underneath our house layer and using our lasso tool, we're going to create the other side of our house. And the bottom of the roof on this side looks like it lines up perfectly with our horizon line. So we can just make that a straight line. And then we're going to fill that in with a dark, dark brown. Next, we're going to come back up to our roof layer and we're going to select it. And then we're going to come up to hue and saturation and add a hue and saturation layer. And we want to give it some more saturation and we want to darken it. Right about there is good. Next what we want to do is we're going to come back to our images and I have a wood texture here and I'm going to copy it and paste it back into our document and then I'm going to just cut out one of these boards. So using my marquee tool I'm just going to select a rectangular area that fits one of these boards and I'm just going to go control X or command X on a Mac and then we can delete that layer and then I'm going to copy that board back in now with this board we're going to create the trim that goes on our roof so we'll start out here so I'm gonna use the transform tool and I'm gonna rotate this guy what I want to do is using the distort tool I want him to align with our roof and the further back he goes the smaller he's gonna be Whoops, didn't want to do that. So this guy will come all the way to the corner of the roof, like that. And then we're going to do this again for this area and this area of our roof.
All right, next what we want to do is we want to add a board to this back area over here. So go ahead and paste another one in. And we're going to bring down this layer behind our other pieces of wood. Rotate it. We actually want to bring this layer all the way behind our brick house, like that. Next, we're going to select that guy and come up to our hue and saturation, and we're going to bring down his darkness. We want him very, very dark. And then we'll come over to this piece of wood, which I believe is this layer, and we'll select it. And we're going to bring down the darkness on this also. Now we're getting kind of a little bit of a hard edge over here, so I'm going to go ahead and erase that. There's one last thing I want to do before I end this video, and that is I want to add a shadow that's being cast from our roof. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge our entire roof together. So we're going to come down to the bottom layer of our roof, not including that guy and we're going to merge everything. So that's all one layer now. And then what I wanna do is I want to select its shape and then I'm going to create a new layer underneath it and I'm gonna fill that in with black. Next, I'm going to come up to our filters, come down to blur and then go to this blur right here and we'll hit okay. Then I'm going to use my nudge tool, my move tool, and I'm going to use the keys on my keyboard to nudge the shadow down. And then I'm going to nudge it over to the left. Now we need to fill in this area over here. So I'm going to switch over to my brush and using the color black, I'm just going to fill in that area like so. Then we can come up to the uh, opacity and we're going to bring it down to about 75%. Next, we're going to come into our house folder and we're going to go ahead and merge all of those layers. Then we're going to select that shape and then we're going to come to our shadow layer and con holding down Control Shift I on our keyboard, which will invert the selection. And then we can hit delete and it'll delete everything outside of that selection. Cool, there's one last video we have to do before this house is finished, so go ahead and jump on over into part three.